Hi, Wayne D. Francesco here again, and I wanted to take a look at the swing of uh, young Ricky Fowler. Uh, really, really interesting golf swing, and I think you'll agree after we go over it a little bit that uh, it's very, very unique, but it does have some of the uh, stylistic attributes of some of the great players. So let's take a peek at this down the line swing had a nice camera angle the cameras uh, stable so let's take a look so starting back see a big push down with the hands the entire club the entire grip will go well underneath the shaft plane now what that does is sets him up for a really steep shoulder turn and a lot of lowering in the head and deepening in the right hip. So by the time the left arm gets parallel, you can see that it's quite deep. The head's down, the right hip is deep, and the shaft, interestingly enough, is super steep. Much closer to his toes than it is to the ball. Now, also the elbows way on level so the right side is super high here shoulder turn angle is really really steep now this is where the, his action is so unique his right arm is just going to stop and flip over that rolls the left arm the right forearm almost is less than vertical and the club just lays back and as he's doing this, his lower body will twist to the left. Now his head pulls back, and he drops that club hard back behind him. But he gets his hands so down close to where they started, right back down onto the plane that his approach is just about perfect. Now the interesting thing here, and I find it questionable, but hey, he seems to be doing fine, is if you look at how far back his head is, it's kind of like Mickelson. It's way, way back off of where it started. So again, it started up against this forward line here. stay there in the back swing and then in the forward swing when he drops that thing back his head backs up a good five six inches that's a lot of space now that sets up a release that is chased way 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 out to the right very interesting you really don't see that now this pin was over here on the right side of the green so I don't think he was trying to hit a hook here And if you look at the leg movement, the legs just shoot to straight, and that right heel stays on the ground forever. And then he pops it up at the end. So there aren't many swings like this. Now, old Sergio had the club slinging back somewhat like that and the hands coming in, but Sergio released up the plane. This is, this is well out to the right, so very, very interesting method there. If we look at another one, let's take a look at him from sort of corner to the side. Now here, I just want to show you this because this is this is pretty amazing. Now, I don't have a very good back. If I did this, you could just call an ambulance for me and get the stretcher out. Now watch watch the the muscles above the waist when he starts to move his lower body watch what happens to his back oh geez I mean that's like his spine is his spine is incredibly flexible I mean every segment is moving there as the shoulder turn continues you can see the right shoulder keep moving back his legs push and twist and it's like elastic it's unbelievable
And you can see the legs separate and then he just snaps them up straight and knocks the crap out of it. So that is, talk about unique, that's unique. It kind of reminds you of the change of direction that Hogan made, although Hogan's wasn't as extreme as far as what it was doing to his back. Now, I'm not saying he's going to have back problems or anything, but that's a incredible amount of torque that he's building up in there that that resistance to that change of direction is unbelievable and then if we if we look at it swing from the front pretty interesting that he with all that stretch he really doesn't move his head very far off the ball he keeps his hips pretty much stable in the box So after all that huge amount of stretch and a huge shoulder turn, his head's really only about an inch off. He's got a little bit of a twist in the hips, and then there's that, there's that change of direction. And you can see the, the movement of the body is so far out ahead of the arms that the arms actually are soft. The left arm is sort of buckled there. When he, even when he hits the ball, kind of reminds me of Lanny Watkins. I've, I've heard that a couple times before, but that's actually what Watkins used to look like when he'd hit it with the, both arms bent like that. In fact, there the right arm looks straighter than the left. And there's that leg movement where he just snaps the legs through impact, and then the hips pretty much slow down and stop for a second. And I wish these guys would take these swings to the finish. They don't seem to like the finish with these biz hub swings, so they flash away from it. And then we go to a, see if I got a shorter swing. With the wedge, you can just see the club, or with the iron, just, I think it was a nine iron. You can see that club just tilt back. He backs up, gets his hands in real close and then just extends into it and through it. So that's Ricky Fowler, very interesting swing. Boy, the guy is aggressive and uh, really seems to be able to play the game. So uh, best of luck to him.